the video that I'm going to do today, I'm going to talk to you guys about a visionary board slash scrapbook. I've always wanted to share with you guys my visionary board, um, but I never really got finished with it. It was a really big uh, pin board, you know, like the court boards. It was huge, huge, huge. And I had it from when I was living in Philly. I had it all decorated with a certain kind of fabric, and then I started like pinning stuff onto it. But I never quite finished it. Um, another thing was, I'm I'm a really private person. Even though I do YouTube, I like to keep certain things about my life and myself on, you know, like, just low-key. You know, even with my family. A lot of my family, I think, they don't know that I do YouTube. And I am totally, 100% okay with that. That's the way I prefer for it to be. But, um... I just, you know, a lot of things you want to keep to yourself. And that's how I am. I want to keep certain things to myself because you don't want to bring people into your, you know, your circle of belief if they're not believers. If they're going to doubt what you're doing or doubt what you want to have, you know, play out in your life in any way, you don't need that. And that's one thing that I've learned from reading The Secret and practicing the teachings of The Secret. If you have people that are going to tell you, okay, that's not going to be possible and kind of tear you down, you just shy away from that. So you keep those things to yourself and in the end, just prove it to yourself, you know, because those things can, they, they can really tear you down if you're not that strong. And some people are strong enough to just take in all this negative and, and they just make it into a positive because, okay, you said I can't do it, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to prove you wrong. But other people, they don't need that. You know, they can go much further without carrying all the negative stuff. So I, I'm just not comfortable with displaying um, things that I want to play out because some of it is really far-fetched for other people, but it might be, like, close for me. You know, it might be right around the corner for me. So with all that being said, um, I really did like the idea of having a visionary board, but I started doing it in another format. And I hope that when I share this with you guys, um, you kind of, you know, maybe it's something that you want to start doing as well. So I started doing a visionary scrapbook journal instead of a board. And, um, I, I think I, I really I really like this a lot because you know I can take it with me anywhere uh, I can it's kind of it becomes kind of like a catalog like a magazine I can sit here and flip through it and looking at it makes me feel really good so the idea behind this is the way I do it I'm just gonna share that with you in case you know it's something that you want to do but you can also take from this and branch off into you know your own spin whatever works for you and that's that's what it's all about you have to find what works for you in order for you to get what it is that you want from you know the universe blah 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 so I used to um I used to this is going way back baby I used to write um things that I want and the way that I want things to play out but looking back at some of the things that I wrote I always ended up putting things that I didn't want to happen things that I did not want in there and I can see that now that I look back so for me it became much easier for me to focus on a topic and then pick out certain words that kind of relate to the way that I want this, you know, this certain aspect of my life to play out. So let's say, for instance, um, if I'm talking about a relationship, okay? If I'm talking about a relationship or what I want to find in a person, it's easier to cut out traits and post them onto something as opposed to writing them down because for me I always end up saying things that I don't want and that's probably why I've been like ended up with a lot of just jackasses because I keep saying okay I don't want this I don't want a person with 14 kids three baby mamas um I want a baby mama drama like you know I keep putting out things that I don't want so I found it much more easier for me to just kind of zone in and pick out the things that I want, confidence, um, career driven, just single words, because that's a surefire way for me to put down what I want without putting things that I don't want. So that's what I kind of did. Um, and I like this because each page I do, okay, so I'll show you one. Each page I kind of do, I'll dedicate to a topic. And then as this page gets full, 
I can continue that topic on another page or I can, you know, if I start over with something else, I can um, always revisit that topic. So that's what I really like about doing it in a scrapbook version. I've always loved um, scrapbooking and a teacher of mine when I was in um, fashion merchandising school, she told me, you know, never stop scrapbooking and I didn't think much of it. But I just started again, and I really, I really like it. I love the way it makes me feel. It's kind of like, you know, when you were younger and you would get those little Delia's catalogs and uh, Victoria's Secret, how you would look through them and you kind of pick up things that you want and you get really excited about certain things. That's how this makes me feel. So I, I really enjoy doing this. And um, for me to do this, like, I just made me, like, a little scrapbook kit. So I have my book. I bought this book, like, a while ago because I'm kind of addicted to, like, cutesy books and I never really find anything to do with them. And this is just a box that one of my, um, one of my old phones came in. Um, I have my box, I have my glue, and I normally have scissors in here, but I used them this morning, so they're in the kitchen. But the way I do it, I go through um, magazines. Most of the times I do not have a certain topic on my mind, but I'll just browse through the magazine for anything that kind of jumps out at me. Um, so I'll cut it out, cut out anything that jumps out at me, boop, 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 cut it out, and I'll just drop it into this box. And I'll do that for maybe two or three magazines. And the beauty of this is some of these magazines I've had now for three or four years and I've cut stuff out of it before but every time I go back and I look at these magazines I keep seeing different things that jump out at me because maybe I'm in a different space maybe like my train of thought is much different than it was the time before that's why it's always good to kind of revisit so like I don't think it's gonna come to a point within two or three times that you look through a magazine to where you won't need that magazine anymore because you know you never know where your train of thought is going to be in a week from now when you go back through that same book something that wasn't really you know catching your attention might really jump out at you the next time you look i cut out the certain words that stand out and kind of you know catch my attention i don't really rip the pages out because i, I want to have the book there for me to go back to at any given time uh one thing that i am working on in this is kind of my gratitude my appreciation page and they tell you to always have something to be grateful for you know the secret tells you to always have something to be grateful for so I kind of came across in a magazine this and it said I love my and I've just been like cutting through different words that kind of relate to me and things that I love like I love my family this up here um da da that's what <laughs> you guys know how I felt about my grandfather and I even have like that that video um granddad and the iPad too posted on my channel and he like I talk about him all the time I talk about him in almost every other video that I post I mention him or being brought up by him in Barbados at some point you know and um i put that on here because it really it touches me yeah so felt good to find that da da so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll keep sharing things that i do and kind of practice to get the secret active and kind of build and get what I want in this life. So until next time, you guys, I uh, see Ani. It's been real and keep rising. Bye.